how to generate random numbers with R software from a uniform, a normal, or a binomial distribution. R is a programming language and a free software commonly used in statistics to work with data. You can download the program uh, by following the link that you can see on the screen. The examples of random draws that I propose in this video were made with the software R Studio, which is a software using the R programming language. First, let's see how to generate uniformly distributed random integer numbers. An integer is a number with no decimal part, which can be positive, negative, or equal to zero. The set of integers is denoted by z. For example, minus 5, minus 1, 0, 2, or 6 are integers. To generate random integers from a uniform distribution in R, we can use the built-in sample commands and add some information. First, indicate the population of interest. Second, indicate the sample size. Third, precise the sampling method. If the sampling is without replacement, you can omit replace or you can write replace equals false. If your sampling method is with replacement, indicate replace equals true. Then you have the last information, prob equals null. This information indicates that you want a uniform distribution. You can write prob equals null or omit it. As an example, let's generate 10 random integers from a population of integers between minus 15 and 30 by using the sampling method without replacement. Use the sample command, give information on the population and on the sample size. Observe that there is no additional information. This means that by default, the software will consider the sampling method without replacement and the uniform distribution. You can even write the command more simply by just giving the information on the population and on the sample size. The print screen of RStudio shows the output of the two commands and you get each time 10 random integers. Let's consider the same example but with the sampling method with replacement. Recall that if you want to have a sample with independent and identically distributed observation, you must use the sampling method with replacement. In that case, you indicate that information in the comment by using replace equals true or simply true. The print screen of RStudio shows the results of these two comments. In the second row, observe that the integer zero appears twice. This can happen when you use the sampling method with replacement, especially if the number of individuals in the population is small. If the number of individuals in the population is large, the probability to get a number appearing several times is very low. How to generate uniformly distributed random real numbers? To generate random real numbers from a uniform distribution in R, we can use the built-in runif command and add the required information. N is the sample size, mean is the minimum value of the population, and max is the maximum value of the population. A random draw without replacement or with replacement has no meaning when the distribution is continuous since the probability of drawing a particular individual from a continuous distribution is 1 over infinity which means 0. Therefore, the built-in command runif 
generates a sample of independent and identically distributed individuals. Let's generate 10 random real numbers between 0 and 1 from a uniform distribution. When the minimum value of the population is equal to 0 and the maximum value is equal to 1, the uniform distribution is the standard uniform distribution. Use the runif command and give the information on the sample size, which is 10, the minimum value 0, and the maximum value 1. You can simply write this comment or unif of 10. The software knows by default that it will be from a standard uniform distribution. Look at the results of these two comments in the RStudio print screen. Another example from a non-standard uniform distribution. This time, the minimum value of the distribution is minus 15 and the maximum value is 30. You can simply write this comment like runif 10 minus 15 and 30 and you get the results in RStudio here. Let's now generate normally distributed random numbers. To generate random numbers from a normal distribution in R, we can use the built-in rnorm command and provide the appropriate information, which is n, the sample size, mean, the mean of the normal distribution, and sd, which is the standard deviation of the normal distribution. As an example, let's generate 10 random numbers from a normal distribution with a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 3.5. You can write that information in the long way or in the short way like this and see the results in RStudio. Let's move on with the generation of binomial random numbers. To generate random numbers from a binomial distribution in R, we can use the built-in rbinom command and provide the appropriate information, which is n, the sample size, size is the number of trials, and prob is the probability of success on each trial. As an example, let's toss three fair coins ten times with a probability of success for each trial equal to 0.5. A success is when you observe head and you count 1. If you observe tail, it's a failure and you count 0. What are the 10 sums of this experiment of tossing 3 coins? Just provide the information for the air binomial comment. So here is the sample size the number of trials and the probability of success. You can write in a long way or you can write it in a short way. Here is the screenshot of the results of these two comments. Finally, let's see how to draw the same random numbers. If you want to draw the same random numbers, Add the setPointSeed comment at the beginning of the programming sequence. When you use this comment here, you need to add some number. It can be any number you want. So for instance here, I want to get 10 random normal numbers and I have added the command setPointSeed with a number I've chosen which is 1456. Let's see the results in the RStudio screenshot. As you can see here, I've obtained 10 random normal numbers, but I added before the rnorm command set point seed and the number 1456. If I repeat the random draw, I get the same random normal numbers if I add again set point seed and the same number.